Hello, let me introduce the operation instructions of ZD120 patient monitor to you. The upper left of the machine is an alarm light according to different alarm levels. There are high, middle, and no alarm prompts. Below is the switch key, shortcut keys, and control drug shuttle. The left side of the machine is a sensor interface. The right side is a printer slot. The printer is optional function. The standard configuration does not have the printing function. Below the machine is the battery cover, which contains a high-endurance lithium battery, which can be continuously monitored for six hours in case of power failure. Probe installation. This is our standard accessory. The first is the ECG lead cable. Our standard configuration is the five lead ECG lead cable. There will be a slot here, aligned with the launch of the machine during installation. Next is our blood oxygen probe. Our standard configuration is an adult blood oxygen probe. The interface has a slot, which is aligned with the launch of the machine during installation. The last one is our blood pressure cuff. Connect the blood pressure cuff to the blood pressure extension tube, and the extension tube is connected to the blood pressure interface of the monitor, and the interface will automatically jam. The key introduction. The first shortcut key is patient management. I can set basic patient information in this interface. The second is the waveform freeze key. A short press will freeze the magical ECG waveform, which is convenient for doctors to view abnormal ECG waveforms. The third is the mute button. When an alarm occurs, the medical staff can choose to mute. The default mute is two minutes. The mute will be automatically canceled after two minutes. The fourth is the print button. When the device is configured with a printer, pressing the print button will automatically print the measured par parameters. The fifth is the blood pressure button. You can inflate the cuff with one click and measure blood pressure once. The last button is our menu button, where we can perform monitoring settings, system maintenance about setting management and demonstration settings. Operation introduction. First, long press the power button for three seconds to start the monitor and enter the operation interface. At the top left of the interface is the status bar. The first item is the time setting. Click the shuttle button to set the current time, year, month, day, and specific time. The second item is patient management. Patient information can be set here. The default alarm limit for adults, children, or newborns are different in different modes. You can choose whether the patient alarm size function is turned on or off, clear the existing data, and create a new patient. The third alarm area, it can display alarm events include time and length. You can select the upper and lower by here. Next is the selection of alarm review conditions. Here, you can search for the alarm review time period. Suppose you want to screen all alarms events from 11 yesterday to 11 today, a whole 24 hours. The first and second lines of the waveform area are the ECG waveform display area. After clicking on the waveform, you will enter the ECG waveform static interface. You can set the ECG waveform speed and gain. It is recommended to select the gain automatically. The third line is our blood oxygen volume waveform. The third line is the breathing wave. All the waveforms can be clicked to set the waveform below the waveform. The area is an event list, where you can see the historical heart rate, blood oxygen, pulse rate, respiration rate, double body temperature, and blood pressure measurement values. The real-time measured data in the parameter area will be displayed here. The heart rate value, ST segment value, and the heart rate event in the upper right corner will enter the setting interface of ECG after selecting and clicking. You can select the alarm switch, alarm level, alarm record, upper and lower alarm limit, and the source of the heart rate can be ECG or blood. Obtained by Oxygen Probe, the source of the heart rate calculation channel, the bottom is our lead selection. You can choose 3 lead or 5 lead. The ECG waveform display can be selected according to different leads. 1, 2, 3, compression lean, lead or chest lead display, according to the different leads of the doctor. Flattering is selected according to the external environment to avoid electromagnetic interface from surrounding equipment. For example, in the operating room, there is more high-frequency equipment. We choose the operation mode so that our ECG waveform is not easily interfered by the outside, and we choose to monitor in the ward. Below is the ST segment analysis. When the ST segment function is turned on, colleagues who are monitoring the ECG can perform ST segment analysis. On the right are the upper and lower limits of the ST segment alarm, and then the alarm switch and alarm level. Check the ST segment alarm record. In the ST below, a set period of our arrhythmia analysis settings. 
is disabled by default, when the system will automatically create a record ECG heart rate after open learning disorders. Below, arrhythmia is a heart rate variability analysis. Here, you can select the start time and end time, as well as custom HR upper and lower limits. Click here to start timing, click to stop when the monitoring time is over, and click to view the results of variability analysis. Where the heart rate variability has occurred during this period, finally, there are other settings. The first item is a waveform display. The normal display is two ECG waveforms. Select the full screen multi lead display to display seven leads at the same time. The latter is the heart rate value pacing analysis function. Below is our blood oxygen value. Here is our blood oxygen value, which is the measured blood oxygen value. The two on the left are the alarm online lines, and the right is the PI value. After clicking to enter the blood oxygen setting interface, you can set alarm switch settings, alarm level settings, alarm records, waveform speed, pulse volume, and the measurement sensitivity below, all of which can be adjusted. On the right are the upper and lower limits of blood oxygen and pulse rate alarms. Below is our respiration rate. The respiration rate setting is mainly to set its breathing needs. There are a total of four breathing needs that can be selected to make breathing rate monitoring more accurate. Below is our blood pressure value. Click to enter the blood pressure setting interface and you can set the measurement mode. There are three modes, automatic mode, continuous measurement, and manual mode. In manual mode, press the measurement button to start measurement. In automatic mode, you can select the interval time. The machine can automatically start the measurement. Continuous measurement, it will automatically start measurement every three minutes. The bottom part is our body temperature setting. Our device supports dual channel body temperature measurement. And the right side is body temperature alarm setting, manual introduction. Below the display area is our manual setting bar. The first item is the information review. There are five items here. The first item is blood pressure review. You can revisit historic blood pressure measurements. The second item is a review of alarm events. First select a certain period of time and start to query the alarm events within this period. The third item is a trend graph review. Here we can see the long-term trend changes of all parameters such as our heart rate, respiration rate, body temperature, ST segment, blood oxygen, blood pressure, blood temperature, and so on. There is a trend list. In the form of a list, a set of data will be recorded at regular intervals. Here you can select the recording interval. The last one is the playback of the waveform, which is mainly aimed at ECG waveform, the blood oxygen waveform, and the respiratory rate waveform. These are the contents of the review interface. Next is a sound setting interface. There are five types of volume, namely heartbeat sound, pulse sound, keyboard sound, alarm silence time, and alarm volume. Every sound can be adjusted. Different levels of alarms, alarm sounds, and warning lights are different. There is also alarm setting. The alarm setting is the alarm setting function of all parameters. This is alarm for the ECG, and then the blood oxygen, blood temperature, blood pressure, and the respiratory rate alarm settings. This is a system standby mode. This is a brightness adjustment of screen. You can adjust the brightness of the screen according to the environment. The last interface is used more frequently. It is interface switching. There are five options in total. The first is standard interface, and the second is the dynamic trend interface. The right side of this interface is the real-time waveform, and the left side is the parameter trend. The figure, you can see the trend change of the parameters within two hours. The third item is our blood oxygen volume waveform interface. This interface mainly integrates heart rate, respiration rate, and blood oxygen saturation. The fourth item is a large font interface, which enlarges the display of the main parameters for easy medical monitoring. The last is the other bad observation interface. If there are multi devices connected to the network in the department, we can view the parameters of the bad monitor through the network. Routine maintenance. The monitor should be cleaned and disinfected regularly. It is recommended to use ethanol and ammonia. When cleaning, please turn off the monitor, disconnect it to the AC power, wipe with a cotton ball, and finally check it dry with a dry clothes. After 12 months of continuous use of the monitor, it is recommended that qualified maintenance personnel conduct a comprehensive inspection and validation.